I went to Memphis and I interviewed people from WDIA, you know, the first black radio station in the country. And, and I talked with, uh, um, uh, several people about, about that era of music. And when TV went to, uh, when all the radio programs went to television, radio had to figure out how many dogs were going to bark in the backyard. It, it, don't even worry about the magic of the toy. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I might leave some of that in. That'll be fun. Anyway, um, no, but uh, but to that point, it had to start somewhere, and it started with it, the black artist. And and you know, you mentioned a little bit ago, if I could get into DeLorean and go back in time, I would go back and and hang out with uh, with you know with those guys, BB King in the younger days, you know, uh, uh, walking the dog, you know, I'd I'd love to hang out Rufus with Thomas. Uh, Rufus Thomas, and uh, and but just. That's where it all started, and that's where rock and roll started, and and it started in in the South with Southern blues, and 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 that's kind of where your your expertise really kicked in a little bit, a lot actually. So, what's your take on that era of music that you that you learned as a historian of of the radio? Well, I was lucky in that my my pop, um, obviously a generation behind me, but a musician himself and just. Uh, amazing lover of American music. So he, you know, I grew up listening to Lightning Hopkins, and but BB King and Rufus Thomas and all these guys before I even knew who they were. They, it was just music in the house and, you know, he'd do his best to educate me. But first time I heard that, that blues thing, I, you know, I, I was, I was hooked and, um, you know, it, it really is the base from all American music, you know, whether you went bluegrass this way, you went rock and roll this way. I mean, jazz, it's all on that tree. And um, so I was fascinated. And so, you know, I'm sitting there in front of the Vitrola like everybody else with my album covers back in the day and trying to learn who played what and Oh, B.B. King was was a DJ, too. Oh, Rufus Thomas was a DJ. So maybe that's what planted the idea in my head that, oh, you can actually play records on the radio and then at night go to the club and play your guitar. So, you know, the the many ways I'm indebted to these, these forefathers of all American music is deeper than most. I mean, they gave me my, my entire life. And... Um, you know, it it didn't matter whether you, you you lived on a farm or you you lived in a city. That music goes right to your soul, and those stories are about American love, pain, up, down, whatever. And you know that'll morph and change over time. But you know that was that was the real stuff, and I don't know. I was just hooked, and so I kind of just fell into it naturally thanks to my dad 